Hello, friends. Stephen Talbot here, of course. Today is, oh shit, Friday, March the 30th. Yes. And it's my pleasure to be here with you today. First, I told you guys over the last couple of days that I was going to be moving, and my friend Keeney, who's right there, and I'm actually going to let you uh, guys talk to her in a minute because she has a crazy story to tell. And my friend Chrissy is here also. And as you can see, like, there's literally shit everywhere. All over the place, but we are slowly and surely getting it all put into boxes. Um, I did find another somebody else who wants to take my animals, so I have I have a plan A, a plan B, and a plan C. Um, as I told you guys before, I'm going out of town Sunday to start my new job, and so I've actually I just found it's like Easter weekend, and they um, I just found out today like the training director or whatever sent me an email and said, oh by the way. Here's access to all of these tools. Here's access to the e-learning center. You need to take 12 course e-learning courses before you arrive on Monday. So, you know, the first, the very first one I took was literally like a PowerPoint slide that I just uh, went through really quickly. But some of them are like three or four hours long. And I still have, I think I've done four, maybe seven, eight, nine or something. I still have several more to do. <clears throat> the one I just got done doing took me like God, it took me most of the night. So I've been busy doing that. Thank God for my friends who are here helping me. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you that I didn't mention the other day is that I told you guys that I went to the doctor for the first time in 10 years on Tuesday, and they did blood work, and they tested um, they tested for they tested my uh, kidneys, my liver, every STD, my blood sugar, uh, cholesterol, and whatever the, whatever else they test for. And I came back with a clean bill of health, which was, uh, I was very relieved. Uh, diabetes, diabetes, diabetes runs in my family. I've been overweight for most of my life. And so I actually was sort of thinking that I was going to be diabetic or pre-diabetic. So I was very relieved to know that I'm not. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I also took a look. I spent several hours today looking for, looking at apartments and actually physically went to look at a couple as well. So now that I have my cats out of the way, I don't feel so, uh, I guess it just lifts to know that, that I have a place to send them for, you know, temporarily just lifted a huge weight off my shoulder. So everything else seems to be uh, moving right along. And, um, I feel like it's like the definition of serendipity. Everything's sort of coming together. So it's pretty cool. Now my friend Keeney went to, I'm going to let her tell you the story, but basically she's been helping me out and she was going to the liquor store last night to get boxes and some crazy ass shit happened to her, and I'll let you guys talk to her. Here is my best friend, Kenny Stevens. Well, hi. Well, hold on. My hair's all fucked up. Because it doesn't make any sense if my hair's fucked up. Because then you'll think that he looked at me and was like, well, I mean, come on now. Your hair's fucked up. Okay, but listen. Oh, I take the glasses off and everything. All right. Okay, hi. People's, Stevens people. Look, listen. All right, the other day, so I, all uh, right, okay, so you should know I'm a lesbian. And she's black. I also happen to be black. I don't know where the camera is. I feel like I look a little downsy. I know that's not PC, but I feel like I look a little downsy because I'm looking off to the left. Where's the camera at? Probably do it. Oh, word. Okay. All right. So <laughs> you're not going to be able to post this. You're going to be like this drunk bitch. All right, listen. So last night I was trying to get boxes to help my best friend move because one, he's my best friend and two, he flew all the way to Florida to help me move. And um, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. That's what friends are for. So he's got to move, here I am, right? So I decided to go get some boxes. And I went to the liquor store to get boxes because in case y'all don't know, liquor stores get their shipments on Thursdays so they have liquor for the weekend. Really? Yes. So if you ever need boxes, go to the liquor store on Thursday. That's when all the boxes are out. So I went to get some boxes from the liquor store. So I have a bright green, I mean bright, alien green too is the name of the color, a bright green Kia Soul. Okay, the hamster car. I'm parked directly in front of the liquor store, on the curb, putting boxes in my car. This fucker walks out of the liquor store, past me, past my car, and uh, gets in his Lexus. I'm in Brentwood. I don't know if y'all know anything about Brentwood, but Google it. Um, <laughs> he gets in his Lexus and plows into my car. Hits it so hard that it pushes the whole car into me, um, into my neck. 
and um, it didn't feel very good. So I walk around the car, and before I even say a word, not one word to this man, he gets out of his car and screams at me, you fucking black bitch, don't you see you're in a no parking zone? This is a fucking fire lane. The fuck is wrong with you? You think black lives matter? Black lives don't fucking matter. Okay. Excuse me? All right, at the risk of pissing everybody off, all lives matter. And I don't mean the group. I mean, literally, all lives matter. My life matters, and your life matters, too. And trust and believe, when somebody hits you with their Lexus, you feel like your life matters a little bit. But I cannot believe that he gets out of his car and starts yelling at me, all these racial slurs, all this dumb shit. And he calls me a fat black bitch. Legit, that's what he said. And this man's beer gut, I'm sorry, but, I mean, you want to go toe-to-toe, fucker? I have a feeling I'm a little bit smaller than you. That's all I'm saying. Pot calling the kettle fucking black. But I digress. He gets out of the car and wants to fight me. You hit me and you want to fight me. All right. So my whole point is, um, I talked to an attorney today and uh, he was like, did the cops come? The cops did come, although they didn't want to come. I had to call a cop that I know personally. And uh, the cops did come and um, they basically said there was nothing they could do. But I talked to my attorney today uh, who I've known for, he's a very good attorney. He used to be the DA in this state. And uh, he was like, yeah, that was total bullshit. He was like, that dude should have gone to jail. He should have been breathalyzed and he should have gone to jail because clearly he was he was wasted. And um, clearly that was assault. And um, anyways, my lawyer said straight up, he was like, I could take your case and I could take your money, but nothing's going to happen because you're black. So uh, that's what my lawyer said to me this morning. Yep. So what did I do? I called a white lawyer. <laughs> I did. Oh, it was a black, the first one was a black lawyer? Yeah, and he's... Uh, a good and honest attorney, but you know, he's also realistic. He's like, I'm not going to take the case and just take your money. Okay. I got you. I just want to sue this guy on their principal because little does he know, you know, he's banking on the fact, okay, look at me. I'm a young, beautiful black woman. Probably don't have the money to sue him. Wrong. I'm going to see your ass in court. Bet. I don't care if I win. I'm going to see your ass in court. I'm going to make you sweat. That's all there is to it. Um, I mean, I can't kill you, but I can sue you. So you got to do what you got to do. But The only reason I really wanted to rant to you people tonight is because just the other day, a girl I was dating said to me, um, so what's your nationality? Okay, uh, unfortunately American. Nationality has to do with what country you're from. Unfortunately, I am from the United States of America. If you'd asked me two years ago, I would have said, luckily, the United States of America. But in today's day and age, it's unfortunately America. That is my nationality. But then she was like, but you're mixed, aren't you? All right, y'all, let me break it down for you. All black people are mixed. And you know what? You're mixed, too. Um, I have a feeling that both your parents did not come from the... Or you know, I'm just saying. None of us are Aryan. Hitler didn't win, okay? Uh, there's no true race. We're all mixed. But she was like, what do you identify as? I said, black all day. She said, black all day, but you have so much Native American in you, which actually is not a lot. I mean, it's just a little bit. My eyes are just squinty, okay? But um, why am I black all day? Because when somebody hits me with the car, with their car, and gets out and starts screaming at me about black lives not mattering, the only thing I am to them is black. When I walk in a room, all I am is black. So black all day, and it's not easy. And if you hit a black girl with your car, you should probably keep your fucking mouth shut. That's all I got to say. So you guys heard about my friend Keeney's story, and I guess really what I want to say about it is that we, you know, that guy was probably drunk and probably scared and probably pissed off that, that you know, he got into the situation and hit, and hit her car or whatever, but we're all responsible for our own actions, and so if you get into a situation, take responsibility for your own actions and fucking be nice. I don't know why people are so fucking mean all the time. Um, I try to be nice, and you know, no matter what, and something else that I learned too, like, my mom used to always have me call um, Comcast or NES or wherever, you know, if there's any kind of problem where you have to talk on the phone with customer service people over and over and over again. And she literally would, I was the person that would act as her for all of those things for my entire, you know, young teens and, and into my adult life. And one thing that I learned a long time ago is that being nice gets you a long fucking way. And not being racist gets you a long way too. <laughs> I feel like I talk about racist shit on my channel quite a bit. It's kind of crazy since I'm white. (laughs) Anyway, thank you guys for uh, keeping tabs on me. As always, I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or concerns, let me know in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, take a minute to subscribe. It only takes a couple of moments of your time. And uh, as always, until next time, enjoy yourself.